Okay, welcome back to Advanced Accounting 2. This is the second part of this week where we are looking at foreign currency transactions. The topic that we will look at first are exchange rates. Exchange rates, if we were to put them in simple terms, are prices for currency expressed in another currency. That is, one could say it costs $1.25 Canadian dollars to buy $1 United States. So one US dollar. Uh, exchange rates, they facilitate the exchange of goods and services all around the world. Foreign currency markets are the most voluminous trading markets on earth. It is not uncommon for the trading volume of currencies globally to exceed 5 trillion US dollars per day. Exchange rates are often discussed as being pegged rate or floating rate exchange rates. Peg rates refer to currency values that are pegged to another currency. For example, the Canadian government could decide at any time that a Canadian dollar is now going to be worth 70 cents USD, pegging it at 70 cents USD, regardless of what the value of a US dollar relative to other currencies would be. Floating rates are rates set by trading in open markets, as CAD Canadian dollars are now. Peg rates used to be more common, however, it is now more common to have floating exchange rates. As you'll hear in an upcoming guest speaker video, the Bermudian dollar is, quote, pegged to the American dollar. Just finishing off on an overview of exchange rates. Exchange rates are quoted either directly or indirectly. You are expected to be able to work comfortably within both. A direct quotation is one that indicates how much it costs in CAD to buy one unit of foreign currency. An indirect quotation is used to indicate how much it costs in a foreign currency to buy one CAD. For example, Nokia, or for me, uh, <laughs> the Nor Norwegian crown, NOK1, is equal to CAD of 0.16, which indicates that one Norwegian crown can purchase 16 cents of Canadian dollars. That would be a direct quotation. CAD of 1 equals NOK6 indicates that one Canadian dollar will purchase six Norwegian crowns, which is an indirect quotation. Time for a question. The United Kingdom has decided that in a hypothetical world to leave the EU. After leaving the EU, the central bank of the UK determines that it will always ensure the value of the British pound is equal to 90 cents, 90 euro cents. This is an example of what kind of exchange rate? Is it A, pegged? Pardon me, is it A, indexed, B, pegged, C, floating, or D, inflationary? If you said B, pegged, you'd be correct. This is an example of a pegged exchange rate as it uses a fixed ratio to determine the value of the pound, and that ratio is based upon a separate currency. All right, that's it for this one. I will see you in the next.